YouTube for Action is a combination of YouTube features that allows you to focus on driving conversions. It includes a specific video ad format called TrueView for Action that makes it easy for your customers to take action, intent-based audience types that help you reach the right people, as well as improvements to measurement in YouTube. In this video, we'll explain the conversion measurement in YouTube. We've made significant improvements to how we measure YouTube, including improving cross-device measurement, adding cross-YouTube web and app measurement, and improving conversion attribution. To start running YouTube for action, you must set up conversion tracking. If you want to benefit from all of the measurement improvements, it's highly recommended to use Google site-wide tagging to ensure that your conversion tracking is accurate and future-proof. Once your conversion tracking is set up properly, it's time to consider which conversions to track and optimize towards. TrueView for Action is a performance-oriented campaign, which means that your primary metric should be your most important conversion action. These actions should be set up as conversions in your conversions column so that the smart bidding algorithm will optimize towards them. Let's get started. To define which conversion will appear in the conversions column, go to Tools and Conversions. Select your primary conversion and click Edit Settings. Select Include in Conversions and check the box to include this conversion in the conversions column. Make sure your other conversion actions are not included in the conversions column. They will be shown in the All Conversions column, since they can provide a more holistic view of your customer's conversion journey. Now that you know how and what to track, let's dive into how conversions are measured in YouTube generally and in a TrueView for Action campaign specifically. In YouTube, conversions are counted in the Conversions column in two cases. One, when a user clicks one of the dynamic elements that lead to your website and then later converts. Two, when a user views an engaged view of your ad and later converts. Google recently improved YouTube for Action measurement by changing the conversion attribution and definition for an engaged view in TrueView for Action campaigns. In the past, a conversion was counted if first, a user watched 30 seconds of the video or watched it until the end, depending on whichever happened first. And second, the user converted within 30 days from the engagement. This is still the way conversions are counted in TrueView in-stream campaigns. Now, and only for TrueView for action campaigns, a conversion is counted if first, a user watches 10 seconds of the video or watches it until the end, depending on whichever happens first, and second, the user converts within three days from the engagement. It's important to note that you still pay for the view after 30 seconds. It's only the engaged view or attribution definition that has changed to 10 seconds. Please note that click attribution remains unchanged at a 30-day window. Another important metric is the view through conversion that you can find in the view through conversion column. A view through conversion is counted if a user sees an ad for less than 10 seconds, and then they convert within one day of the impression. This metric is important because even short ad exposure can sometimes lead to a conversion. If you're comparing your YouTube activity to other platforms that include view-through conversions by default, it's important that you look at the sum of your conversions and view-through conversions when measuring performance. For more step-by-step -step videos on Google Ads implementation and optimization, check out Google Ads Tutorials on the Google Ads YouTube channel. If you have any questions or for more information, please visit Google Ads Help.